these look normal. Is it normal to feel this after surgery? I probably get the, is this normal question inside of my group at least three times a week. And in this video, I want to go over 10 things that are very rare, but do seem to happen a lot after an explant surgery. So typically symptoms like bloating and constipation, um, swelling and bruising, those are some things that are to be expected after you remove your breast implant. But I'm gonna go over a few things that aren't, that you should be aware of, just so you kind of know what to expect and what is normal after your explant. Welcome back, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christina. I am the founder of Size Happy, the admin of the best Facebook group on Facebook, breast implant illness, rejuvenation, and education with Christina. And you can also find me on Instagram at I am size happy. Now, before I get into today's video, I do wanna mention a couple things. So first off, obviously I'm not a doctor and I'm not a surgeon. So if at any time anything ever concerns you and you're like, does this look normal or does this feel normal? I always suggest running things by your explant surgeon first because they're the ones that know what's normal, what things should look like. And if something does come out infected or anything like that, or you need to come back to their office, they're gonna know the next right steps to get you back on track. And also with that being said, I think a lot of times we forget we're going through a surgery and we're also recovering from anesthesia and we're on like antibiotics and possibly even on pain pills and muscle relaxers, whatever your surgeon may have prescribed to you. So I think a lot of times there are some things that might pop up after explant surgery that could also be linked back to the actual surgery itself. So there is also that to consider. With that being said, let's get into the 10 things that are very rare, but that could happen after explant surgery. Number one, after your surgery, you might get your period early, even on that day, like I did. Um, you might even have some major hormonal imbalances, maybe a month or two after the surgery, or your period, the first period that you get after your explant surgery, it might be a little bit heavier than usual. I have heard all of these scenarios happening very often in my group. Women will talk about it because they are concerned. Um, and those are some things that could happen. It actually happened to me. I got my period within hours after waking up from my explant surgery and I wasn't supposed to get it for like a week. So just know after your explant surgery, you could have some hormonal imbalances and some heavy, heavy bleeding during your next period, or you might even get your period a little bit early. Number two, zaps in your breast, or even some numbness in some spots. That's completely normal. Um, the zaps are typically from just nerves firing back up and waking back up after, you know, obviously you got your muscle um, cut into it. So little zaps and electricity feelings in your breasts and even some spots being numb, like maybe by the drains or maybe in your incision area, that's normal. It's to be expected. Um, and I have some numb spots and I did experience some zapping when I was going through my explant surgery recovery. So heads up, that could happen after your explant. Number three is being emotional for no reason and out of nowhere. And I plan to do actually a long video about this because I have my own theory about why this does happen. Um, but after your explant surgery, you could experience feelings of just like sobbing, feeling really sad, crying out of nowhere for no reason. So just you know, heads up, if that does happen, it is pretty common, we've all gone through it and I actually experienced that myself and I actually wanna talk about it a little bit more so I will be creating a video on that more in depth about why I think that happens in the future. Number four is increased anxiety. Some women say that after their explant surgery, they feel more anxious 
um, and they experience more anxiety like feelings. I know a lot of women feel relief and just feel an overall calmness. But there are some women who do say, I've just felt a little bit more anxious after surgery. I don't know why. That could be something else that could pop up after surgery just to keep an eye on. Number five is having a burst of energy after surgery. For like the first week, you just feel like you are buzzing off of every wall and you're wanting to do everything. And then some women say that they feel extra, extra tired after the surgery. Again, with everything here, it just depends on person to person, body to body. We all obviously recover from everything differently. So you're either gonna have a crap ton of energy after your explant, or you'll probably be more like me to where I felt pretty tired and relaxed, but relieved for like the first four to five weeks after my explant. I was just very slow, walking very slow, resting a lot, sleeping a lot, but you might be one of those lucky ones that just uh, is like the Energizer Bunny and bouncing off of everything after your surgery. Number six, you could have tenderness where your incisions are for like months after your explant. And I'm talking about like even up to a year. I can remember back um, where my incisions are. I, I was very tender there for, I mean, I'm thinking this is almost four years now that I had my explant, but I remember being like five to six months after my explant and I was still very tender anytime I would massage um, that area in my incision area. So you can expect possibly that after your explant, wherever your incisions are, it is pretty normal and pretty common to experience some tenderness in that area for up to a year after your explant surgery. Number seven, rashes. I had the itchiest rash I've ever experienced in my whole life in my armpits after my surgery. Um, the day that I woke up from my surgery, I actually had a little one on my stomach and it was like underneath my legs. But then the next day I started to get them um, underneath my armpits. And that's actually the photo that you see in the thumbnail. Very red, very itchy. Um, don't know exactly why it happened. I mean, some people say it could be detox. Some people say it could be your lymphatic system, dumping toxins. And some people say it could be just like an allergic reaction to the solution that they may have wiped you off with at the surgical center. Don't know exactly why it happened, but I have seen quite a few posts of women experiencing rashes like on their face or on their stomach, or for me, it was in my armpit area after explant surgery. So again, just another thing to keep an eye on if it does pop up. If you do experience a rash, let me know because what my surgeon recommend I spray on it helped me so much. Number eight are spitting stitches. So they look like, let's. so here's your incision right there, and they just look like little dots. Um, on your incision area. And that's where the dissolvable stitches are trying to make their way out of your body. I had, I had quite a few of those around four or five, maybe even six months after my explant. I wanna say it was around the four or five month mark where I all, all of a sudden had like a little hole in my incision area and it was from a stitch trying to come out. Again, those are very normal and very common. Um, some women don't get them, but if it ever feels hot or is oozing, um, is very red, it just looks agitated, always run that by your surgeon just to make sure things look a little normal and you're not possibly having to like put any antibiotic ointment or anything on it. But spitting stitches, very normal, something, something to look out for. Number nine, so if you do have drains after your explant surgery, one drain could possibly be giving out more fluid than the other drain. So one side might just have a lot more stuff coming out of it than the other side. You know, maybe you had a little bit more trauma on one side than the other or whatever it may be. Again, I don't know why a lot of this happens exactly, but it does happen. So if you have like one drain that just seems to be filling up a lot more and then one side that's not, that can happen and it's pretty normal. 
And number 10, and this comes up a lot in my Facebook group. It's talked about a lot. Um, it's body odor. A lot of us experience really foul smelling body odor under our underarms after explant surgery. I've had some women describe it as like a urine like smell. Um, some said it smelled like spoiled meat. Um, some people said it smelled like chemicals. For me, it mostly smells like chemicals. But after your explant surgery, and I think this is kind of just a good thing in a sense, like it's your body getting rid of some toxins through your armpits. That's my hypothesis. Again, I'm not a, a uh, what am I looking for? You know, scientist or anything. But we do have some foul smelling armpit odor after explant surgery. So just kind of expect to keep some deodorant nearby after your explant. If there's anything that you would like to add to this list, let us know down in the comment area what may have happened to you after your explant. I mean, things like seromas and infections, those also do happen as well. I mean, it is a surgery, things do happen. So with all of this being said, I think besides maybe the getting your period early, the zaps in your breast, I think maybe a lot of this actually. After your explant surgery, try not to do too much too soon. I know like for me, I know I said I felt tired, but I also felt like, oh my gosh, I feel kind of like normal. My brain fog was gone. My fatigue didn't feel as like full body weighing me down fatigue. And I felt like I could do more than I probably should have. So I had to intentionally force myself to like not do too much for at least the first month after my surgery. So with all of this being said, what I'm trying to say is after your explant surgery, just rest, get a lot of sleep because healing and recovering from this surgery does require a lot of rest. Our bodies heal and detox and cleanse and have cell turnover, all of that when we're sleeping. So I always recommend my prescription after explant surgery is to rest, self-care, whatever that looks like for you. So it could just be washing your hair for the day, could be painting your nails, maybe just throwing on some lipstick, um, whatever it may be, but self-care, forgiveness. So whoever you need to forgive and especially ourselves for essentially doing this to ourselves. And then, oh, <laughs> and the big one, patience. Patience with our body, patience with how fast or slow we are recovering, um, patience with whoever it is that's taking care of us, just patience with this whole process, having no expectations on how you think you should be looking or feeling, you know, at the one month mark or the six month mark, just allowing your body to do her thing at her own pace after surgery. If you're enjoying videos like this, for women who are going through breast implant illness. And if you're looking for help preparing for or recovering from your explant surgery, definitely consider subscribing and I will see you on the next video.